hello, this is a quick uh, video with some tips for writing professional emails. So these are issues that often come up in, in emails in the workplace or in professional environments. And so I just wanted to call attention to these six areas. Number one, avoid texting language. Um, emails are not texts. And so using shortened versions of words, T-H-R-U for through, um, the, just the letter U for the word you. That's not appropriate for professional email. Those types of language are very informal, and so they lack professional tone. Instead, kind of the flip side of that is that you want to use concrete, specific language. Um, so if you're making a request, make sure your request is clear. If you are reaching out about um, you know, a concern or something that happened or to schedule a meeting, like make sure whatever it is that that's going to come across really clear to your reader, that they're not going to have to respond back with a whole bunch of questions of their own in order to be able to answer your email. The other side of this is just making sure that the content is appropriate and really focused. Um, emails should not be really long essay length writings. They should be really um, short. They should be concise. They should be to the point they shouldn't contain a lot of extra. So if you're sending an email, make sure that it is something that is appropriate for that length, for something really concise. If it's something that's going to take a lot more space to write out or describe or explain, then maybe consider a different type of correspondence or communication with whoever you needed to send it to. Um, a good kind of rule of thumb is that emails should be really easy to respond and quick, and they should not be something that takes someone time to read through or a lot of time to respond to. So again, it's kind of a quick um, quick back and forth between, between individuals in the professional environment. Organization of professional emails is something to pay close attention to. Um, it, typically, you're not just going to have one paragraph. It should be broken up a little bit. And you want to have really short, concise paragraphs with some order to it. The purpose for writing should be clear right away in a professional email. It shouldn't, shouldn't be something where someone's reading through and trying to figure out why you're writing. Um, so make sure that the purpose is clear and evident up front, and then kind of break it down into whatever, however many paragraphs you need. And it may only be one or two, but just be really careful about trying to block a whole bunch of stuff together in one paragraph. You really want to kind of separate out key points anytime that you're doing really any writing, but particularly in technical writing, that's something you really want to focus on. Um, always with writing, and this is just true of any writing, there really should be, especially in the technical world, a clear beginning, middle, and end. Again, that's just part of organization. It makes it easy to flow. It makes it easy for the readers to follow, and technical writing is all about audience awareness. I already mentioned kind of with the uh, focused content part, but emails should be concise. They should not be two pages of writing if you put it into like a Word document. They should be something that is, you know, maybe a sh couple of short paragraphs and that's it. So really make sure, again, that content-wise that it's appropriate for a concise email. And then there are guidelines for professional formatting. Um, rules on what the subject line should say. First of all, make sure you include a subject line. And then also that's not where the content of the email goes. Those are two common mistakes I see. The other thing, like greeting, make sure that you have one, make sure you have a sign off. Again, you really want to incorporate professional elements, even when it is an email, which is sometimes considered a more informal type of communication in a workplace. So those are just six areas to really kind of pay close attention to when you're writing emails. And uh, hopefully this helps kind of just give you some good ideas of what to avoid and also what to really focus on incorporating when you're writing these emails.